So today, another reversal from the CDC, this time about how easily COVID-19 spreads. Friday, the agency said the virus commonly spreads through the air, but today they're backtracking on that. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl is here with more on this new controversy. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Jessica. A couple of weeks ago, the CDC reversed itself on testing. Now the issue is about how the virus is spread. Is it airborne, like many scientists have said? Last week, the agency said yes. Today, they said that's wrong. It's confusing, but here is one thing everyone agrees on. It is still critically important to wear a mask and practice social distancing. The latest flip-flop from the CDC is about transmission of COVID-19. The agency updated its guidance to say the virus could linger in the air, but that was removed. Now this. A draft version of proposed changes to these recommendations was posted in error to the agency's official website. CDC is currently updating its recommendations regarding airborne transmission. Once this process has been completed, the updated language will be posted. I understand it's confusing to the public. It's confusing to us as doctors and scientists because this is something that's new. Dr. Ronald Coleman with Penn Medicine says science is evolving on COVID-19. It's known to spread through close personal contact. That's been the focus of CDC guidance. The issue now centers on aerosolized particles that can stay suspended in the air longer and travel farther, meaning it's easier to spread. Here's the revised language from the CDC that was removed. There is growing evidence that droplets and airborne particles can remain suspended in the air and be breathed in by others and travel distances beyond six feet, for example, during choir practice in restaurants or in fitness classes. In general, indoor environments without good ventilation increase this risk. Do you think the CDC is a reliable resource for people considering all that's gone on? They're doing their best, but it's a uh, a uh, difficult environment. There are many pressures, political pressures, and it's a situation where our scientific knowledge and understanding is not as great as we would like it to be. So the latest revision from the CDC says the virus is spread mainly from person to person. No telling when or if that might be revised, but many scientists and health experts say there is growing evidence COVID-19 can be spread in the air. Mm -hmm. Jessica? A lot of confusion. Stephanie, thank you.